Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once more. So in this video, actually I'm going to discuss an activity based on addition and subtraction of integers. So this activity is going to be very useful for teachers as well as students as well. So the teachers who wants to give activity to their students, they can refer it. And uh, the students who want to actually clear the concepts related to addition and subtraction of integers, like why we do plus, 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 and plus, minus, minus, and all these concepts. So that activity is very useful for those students. So have a look how we can do that activity about addition and subtraction of integers. Addition and subtraction of integers activity. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to take cutouts of two different colors. Uh, you can take any color of your own choice, but I would prefer to take red and green colors. So you have to take cutouts like this. So many cutouts, whatever are needed for this uh, activity when you will perform. So put cutouts like this, be ready with those those cutouts. Now the next step would be the red color cutout would represent the negative number of integer and the green color cutout would represent the positive number. So we will write minus on every red color cutout and plus on every green color cutout like this. So on every cutouts, whatever you have cut, write minus with with marker or any like uh, color which would highlight over there and plus on the green color cutouts, every green color cutout. Now, after this step, we're going to perform. So we can take any example. I'm taking two plus three example. I'll take four examples with these numbers only. Uh, like uh, in this example, both are positive. So I'll just carry forward with others also like with negative as well. So this is our first example. You may take any example of your own choice. So we are having example as two plus three. That means I need two positive numbers cut out. And then three is also positive. That means three positive numbers cut out once more. So you can see on the top, two positive cutouts are there for two and three positive cutouts for, uh, for the number three. Now, all the numbers are of same type, right? All the cutouts you can see are green cutouts. So we will add all. And how much we will get? We will get five. So answer of this example would be five here. Now see the next example, you would be more clear about it. So here we are having minus two plus three. So if you will check out, two is a negative number now, and three is a positive number. So we will take two is a negative number. That means we will take two negative cutouts. Three is a positive number. That means we will take three positive cutouts. Now you can check out negative positive would cancel out. Another negative positive would cancel out. And we are remaining with one positive sign. That means plus one would be the answer of this question. So that's why answer is one over here. Now let's see one more example. Now two minus three. So in this example, we are taking two as a positive number, but three as a negative number. So two positive numbers. So we'll take two positive cutouts, three negative numbers. So we will take three negative cutouts. Now positive negative would cancel out. Again, positive negative would cancel out. And we are remaining with one negative cutout, only one negative. That means minus one would be the answer of it. If we would be left with two negative cutouts, then minus two, like this, OK? So let's see the last example, minus two, minus three. In this case, we are having both negative numbers. So we will take two negative cutouts because of minus two and three negative cutouts because of minus three. Now, all the cutouts are of same color. That means five negative cutouts. So that, that means answer would be negative five. Minus five would be the answer of it. So I hope this clears your uh, clear your concepts, whatever are related to addition and subtraction of integers. So this way we can perform this activity over a chart paper, you can do it in a 3d view, like uh, how you can uh, do in 3d view, you can take chart paper and you can take the thermocol cutouts. And these cutouts you can paste over thermocols, it would highlight and that would give you a 3d view, you can uh, put your creativity as well. So I'll see your creativity in your activity. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.